it's it's difficult. I bet. It's really difficult. Mm-hmm. We're trying to get the hearing aids here. Yeah, well, let's do. Welfare. Welfare? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you see that? Can you read that? Yeah. It would have been the 19th. Saturday, August the 19th. 12th. It should be the 12th. Oh, the 12th. That's why I said the 12th. Ron said 19th. Oh, that's sad. That shouldn't be the 19th. You got that? That's bullshit. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we got to start talking to the police a little more. Okay. Uh. Okay, look on society. I have a meeting. Shane on Friday. On the 18th. Yeah, the 18th. And we're going to talk about, um, okay, discussion. Discussion uh, one. backpack, you have a bike, you have a backpack full of harm reduction materials, and you go on a bike, so <coughs> instead of walking distance, you can go a little further, and remember, if you need somebody two blocks the other side of King George that needs some materials, you can take them there, you work a four hour shift, and get paid for it. Huh? How do you do it? Well, there, there be, uh, then, do you get paid for it? No. Okay, well then that's the new part. <laughs> hey, what's up? That's what he's trying to get organized. I just put the number in already. Yeah, there you go. Do you sign in? With Ronsky? No. Okay. Ronsky being. All right, so these are things for deliverables. Five. 
Okay. <coughs> okay, so, all right. I'm just writing this down and then I'm going to talk about it, all right? Okay, so Friday I'm meeting with Shane, okay? Did you ever get your application in? It is in. Like you came here the next day and got your application in? And you're still homeless? Okay. Is that in the ring? Okay. No, what's your last name? Bar, B A R R. Name of Lewis Bar. August 10th, 1950. Lewis is spelled L E W R. I'm just doing August 10th, what? 19 what? 1950. I was 67. Okay. You don't worry, you got one fuck of a lot of shopping days left now. Okay, alright. It was only a couple of days ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, alright. Alright, application head. Language, bad language, pretty good language. Okay, application head, is that the producer healthy thing? Yeah. That's the one in a month ago. Okay. Two moments. Okay, alright. Okay, well then let's let's just start this. Seven. Housing express lane. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Okay, let's see how I lay. Attending, he's on Surrey Council, yeah. and he's also been attending the uh, WCIA games. Okay, all right. So, so <coughs> quiet in here. It's like crazy. All right, here we go. Look at society. I've been meeting with uh, Shane on Friday. Oh, we're gonna go. And here we go. Okay, so some of the things that we're going to discuss uh, is helping, not taking anything over, but helping um, existing rig dig staff with SAMSU members to get uh, do the rig dig and get paid for it, okay? Um, spikes on bikes, okay, what this is all about is if you don't know, is something that's going on downtown with uh, the help of uh, Vancouver Coastal Health and Portland Hotel Society where um, we have uh, marginalized uh, people that are um, being a part of where they can, uh, they can get a backpack where they fill it full of harm reduction materials and they get a, uh, an area to go, you know, you can't just go all over the place. Where would you find it? Well, I don't know. But if we know you're working in this grid, or wherever you have a piece of paper with the you know streets on it, and then you go try and find your you know people that you know or, or areas in that grid that you know that people might need some stuff. You know, even if you had a crack shack, right? Reload them, give them give them the stuff. Take take back the dirty, uh, give them a bucket. You know, yeah. say look, I'll give you a pail, and when it's full, or well, maybe not full because it'll pull you off your bike. Or we can have a, one of the vans come and pick it up, or whatever. Just take it out to the street. We, we're not here to bust you or anything. We're just here to get your, you know, get materials out so people don't die, right? <coughs> so that's one. This one. It's a, a bikes on spikes, which gives you a little bit more distance yeah. than if you're on foot, right? Okay. So we're we're working on that. That's something I, I wanted to bring to Surrey because I'm going. Okay, so. Vancouver Coastal Health and Portland Hotel Society are doing it downtown. You got Freezer Health and you got the Lookout Society. Why, and why can't we work with them? So they're they're on it. They like that. Okay. This is something else. Like okay, um, 
public speaking, you know, awareness, you know, uh, where, I mean, you have to have a, a, a level of comfort with your, with yourself where you want to go and uh, talk to, uh, you know, it could be, it could be a group of uh, students from a high school, or it could be a gymnasium full of them. It could, it more than likely, it'd be like an awareness week, or they have a, uh, a substance abuse week or substance uh, awareness week here in Surrey. So you know, aware of, of addiction, right? It's an addiction awareness week, right? So um, you know, that would be something that I would like to see because uh, I remember when I was in college, that car came and talked talk to our class. And the people that weren't, you know, I mean, I'm a, you know, right, so the other people that were in my class, they had no idea, right? So this would be a good thing, and, it, and you get paid, anything we're doing here, it's, it's you get paid for, okay? Because it's, 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 that's what we want to try and do is get some empowerment and say, hey, look, man, like here, you know, what did we find out by doing this? Yeah. Right? Okay? All right, so... I haven't got much more except for the fact, okay, Bill, you're still, you still got your application in? How long has it been in now, do you know? A, a month almost? Another month, sure. Okay, it would be, a, it would be about, uh, at least a month, but, was it 20, See, I was, I was 28th when we had uh, Oh, so it'll be August? No, July. Oh, July 29th is when it went in. They fast got me into uh, <laughs> when you know, the first they fast got me and put me in the Ted uh, June? in the Ted Coon Tower years ago. Yeah. For the Winter Olympics. Yeah. They that was in eighty eight, six. Place. They put me on the top floor right Well the Winter Olympics, sorry, that was a yeah. The, yeah. The, 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 the yeah. Little so yeah. so <laughs> I I so, was oops, twenty ten. So I was in there and signed in for five months. Because there's a, 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 a yeah. you're checking the out period, right? And then after the five months, they can kick you out, or you can sign in for a year. Right. What did you do? Uh, sign in for a year? After, no, I signed in for the five months, and then after my five months was up, the Winter Olympics were over, and they couldn't kick me out. Right. Because they and they weren't going to sign me in for a, let me sign in for a year. So they got me to sign in for another five months. Wow. So that means they, they don't have to have a reason right. to kick you up at the end of when you go to arbitration or something like that. Right, okay. So Uncle Gil, you know, They got the boot. He said, fine. Why are you kicking a 60-year-old man? Because I just turned 67 his last birthday. Right. Of 1915, 2017. 67. Anyway, why are you kicking a 60-year-old man out in three days? And he said, I don't need a reason. The arbitrator couldn't really even talk to him like that. Right. But he said, well, <laughs> I'm not kicking him out in three days. And he said, I'm sorry, Mr. Barr, I can give you another month. Mm -hmm. But after a month and three days, I will not be able to help you. So I was there for 11 months and two years or something like 11 months. What's the deal now? Once well, you, you're so there, I, you can be there for a well, long time? I haven't been. It's a different situation, I guess, but whatever. But I currently, that's the BC audience. Like, I mean, I was kicked out of there for no apparent reason. And okay. And so I could be put back in there, but they could, it's all different people around there, so I don't know. Like, like the, I went in front of, a, a, I was signed in, like I said, I was doing that thing, and then I'm uh, signed in again with this other bureaucrat thing with the DCI, and I was in front of the, uh, I don't know if court, but there was two guys and a lady asking me questions, and they had a, a set plan to go through all these different. I was there with them for an hour, over an hour, answering questions of, you know, like, has anybody in my family yet been through mental health yeah. issues and all of them covered through and pretty well everything you know, like, like what would happen if, uh, you know, what would it take for me to punch somebody in the flipping head and you know, and then like, you know, it's, it's old. Well, I'm all right. We all got to live together.
together, and that's basically what I'm all about. You know? and, uh, I almost made NHL hockey, and I was a lady game hockey player. I got a couple of lady game hockey for a whole team. And so that's uh, any more <coughs> goals and very few penalty minutes. My penalty minutes were defending myself in a fight or something. You know, <laughs> guys are getting big, big money to come out and make me get in a fight for, you know, I get five minutes out of the mm -hmm. And they did their job. I just didn't do mine. Okay. But, you know, like. How about, you, how about you, Grace? How's your, how's your living situation? Uh. Yeah, I got an eviction notice. Even though when I got out, there was an eviction notice still on the door. Right. But um, welfare didn't uh, look out. Didn't the work the worker that was over there? Yeah. Had three months to tell him that my rent was going up. She never did. So they added on sixty nine dollars onto my thing. So I ended up paying twenty five dollars. I still owe forty four dollars or something. Right. But they, I was lucky that the kid that talks English <laughs> agreed with me that I should not be evicted mm -hmm. for now. Okay. So I still have a home. Okay. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> but I still need to talk to somebody to get a fridge. Okay. My fridge, they keep fixing it and it breaks down a week or two later. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, huh. Yeah. Huh. Housing sucks out here. <laughs> Maybe it's just my manager. <laughs> what about you, Bill? I filled up one of those applications for BC Housing at the end of June. Yeah? So July, August, so six weeks now, eh? How do you how do you get mail back to you? Like once you fill out an application, how would someone find you if you're homeless? So they put a piece of uh, a note on the board that that they have called the front room and here to call. They put a note on the board, right? They pin it shut with your name on the back. The front room, like if you filled out something, the front room has a, a box five hundred number or something like that. And if the mail was sent to you, they would probably look you up. Oh, you've gotten mail. Okay, okay, all right, let me rephrase the question. How do you get your mail? <laughs> when you get a piece of mail, how would you get it? Where do you pick it up? At the front room. I had my birth certificate in the front room. Okay. You would have to go and ask the staff. You ask the staff, is there any yeah. mail for me, yeah. Bill Barr? Yeah. yeah. And they'll either know you from seeing you every day, or do they ever come out on the street and hunt you down know, so you got mail? Yeah, there's, there's, there's staff that they change. Just depends. All around and stuff, but there's a spice for bike type yeah. lady that walks around. She's not yeah. a bike, but she's doing the same thing as. Yeah. But she's just doing the strip, really. Okay, what's her name? Uh, I'm not sure which one is doing that. Yeah. There used to be two older ladies or whatever. Yeah, but this one's a younger. Baby, uh, yeah. uh, Jenny? Uh, Jenny? No, 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 no. I said, no, I know Jenny. Okay. Yeah, I was younger than her by quite a bit, too. Heavy set. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, All right, so housing is always a priority. It just sucks. I have a problem. Uh, housing, yeah, but it wasn't. Like, I was set for life. Or, or so How many people do you think are homeless in the Wally area? Oh, yeah. But there's a lot of pretty few that like being in Why? I kind of know. They just, Why? They, they don't know anything. Would, if you were offered an a apartment in the Ted Kuhn building right now, would you go tonight? Yeah. Would you go tonight? Yeah. Would you go tonight? Mm. Yeah? If you were offered an apartment in the Ted Kuhn building, your own apartment, and the funding was paid, you know, paid your way for your for your apartment. Would you go tonight to your apartment? Yeah. What about you, Jeff? Would you go tonight if you had an apartment at Ted Kuhn and it had your name on it? Like you would. Like hell yeah. 
right? So there's nobody in this room that would say no. Or think about, oh, maybe I gotta do some stuff tonight, you know. <laughs> no, I'd be probably just I'm rolling up my tent right now and fucking put it under my arm and we'll see ya. Where's the bus? I'm on I'm on it. Okay. One thing you say. Um, Only one? Kind of works, it works out with all this. Okay. You're, um, Okay, as you know, I was in the hospital, right? Yes. I fell on a bag of rigs that were open. Okay, I, I could have lost my hand. Yeah. And the infection went into my bone. Yeah. And I was in there almost two months. Now, I only have one thing I'm going to ask. Is there any way to make it mandatory or something? When they people pick up rigs, they have to have a rig. A rig. A box? Yeah. Collection box? Well. Versus like a pail that things can yeah, fall out of. Like, I mean, like they have. To, like a one you way. Know, it should be mandatory. You okay. pick up rig, All right, you have okay, so you have to have rig box. How do we do that? Take box? it back, and you don't get rigs. Like. Uh, no, you can't do that. You know. We got a new year. What? Can't do what? If they don't take them back, they can't get rigs. You can't do that. What do you mean? If the run's not coming again, run. She said if, she, if the people don't take the rigs back, they can't get rigs. Oh, yeah, they can. you can't do that. Oh, no, you just got to, yeah. yeah that's, that used to be one for one yeah, years yeah, ago, that's and that's not best practices or harm reduction. We don't care if you don't bring your dirties back. We want you to have clean rigs, right? Yeah. Of course we want you to have, uh, can I help you, Bill? No. Don't I mean, worry, I Mark. Hey, you don't have to show me the bucket. I know, I know I've seen the box. I know them. Yeah. And I, I've done the ring I've done all that. Yeah. It's just freaking, and it weighs down with an elder or a little tree that fell. You know, on a, on a plastic bag. Who knew what was in it? I did. Yeah. When I fell, right? It's just freaking, oh. You know, it's, okay. I'm uh, more. Uh, freaking rigs everywhere, right? How about, you know, how, about, how about more ways of collection? More ways. More like <coughs> how about yeah. a van? Uh, yeah. And then a whole bunch of little Pick mailboxes. Exactly. And what you just go around. You, you put the pail underneath. You open it up. You, yeah. you put you know? the lid on it. And throw it in the van. You need more out here. Whatever it is. Yeah. Something. Oh, it's just getting, it's just getting way out of control. What was that, Bill? I see this ring, two feet away from those boxes. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're right underneath those boxes. Yeah. We'll sit there, we'll lose them in the front uh, of the uh, uh, Yeah, yeah. They used to be but out of, but out of, you know, and the longer they sit there, someone's going to walk by and pick it up oh, and throw yeah, it in. I, I always do. I yeah. Do. I see yeah. Pick them up. Exactly. In two months, I was in the hospital on the spot. Now, that's bullshit, yeah? Okay. You know? Okay. <laughs> More ways of collecting rigs. Uh, okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay. <laughs> you, you got all this? So, wow. Wow. Okay, so boom. Wow, let's take all this out. I don't need that. Don't need this. And Better add Jeff on the list here somewhere. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so okay. All right. Housing. You got Bill hasn't talked about his housing. He put in an application a month ago. In June, yeah. And he still doesn't have housing. So do you have a tent? Where do you sleep? Where? where? Yeah. In the front room? He said to me, the guy's been offered to change the night. Have you ever uh, been there in line and time to get a bed? There's no lineups for beds. No lineups for beds? What do you mean? Now you have to sign up for a bed. Sorry? Now you have to sign up for a bed. At what time do you sign up for a bed? No, in the morning, I guess. <laughs> To reserve a bed for a night? Yeah. And what if you don't show up? No, you can just keep it away. to get a bed now? Pretty much, yeah. So you don't lie out at 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock anymore? Yeah, I'm not pretty sure. If we wanted a bed, if I wanted a bed, I think I'd get a bed someplace. Like yeah. There's a back but, shelter, there's a shelter, the front yeah. shelter. 
But is this some three year admission shelter? No. Yeah, but no. Sometimes he's a regular. Where, Bill, where are you sleeping tonight? In a chair. He's like, I'm in the bed. That chair can find me a bed. Get a bed. Get a bed for him. All right, we're going to try and get you a bed. I know. I know. I just want a bed. Huh? You probably did. I don't want a bed. Would you, would you like to stretch out in a bed with a pillow, or do you want to sit in a chair tonight? <laughs> <laughs> nice. How'd that feel? Feel good? When was the last time you slept? Yeah. Month? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All this stuff seems secondary to what we really need to be doing. How is it going to happen? Do you see this? You have your own place to put your own stuff and maybe have a refrigerator that works and, you know, a bed or something like that. And that's a piece of dignity. You know, you can lock the door and say, I've got a place, man. No, well, it's just been screwed up in my, my old age pension at the end of about 1600 because of my disability and shit. Yeah. No, because I didn't do taxes, I cut back to about 800. You what didn't do it? taxes? What if you file your taxes? Yeah, but when my judge said get it all back, then he beats his stuff, man. That gummy, my pills, heart pills, I'll die if I don't take the fuck, they, they don't take it. They turn it, they turn it. Talking to somebody when it's huge. I had a black eye. I think you guys saw it. It was shiny in there. So you need to get your taxes filed for how many years? Oh, I mean, no, 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 I did it. I was all done up last year. <coughs> yeah. Year before that. Yeah, yeah. But just then, I just the house burned down. The guy, one of the eighty-year-old guy that lived with me, was doing all my taxes and stuff like that. So it worked out for him. Now that went to jail, and now yeah. my taxes never got done. And, I looked after everybody but me. So when was the last time you filed taxes? Well, last year. So this is the last one I didn't do. So you're current. Year. You haven't done 2016. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. The, the last taxes I didn't do. So, you know, so I'm cut off on that. So, see, if I would have done my taxes, I would have got that. No. So all you're gonna do is 2016 do taxes, and you come current, and you get your money. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, I'll be paid for that. To retro. That's how I got the six thousand dollar check that one time from. So right now I don't even know where any of my tax sheet is. Or I have to get a hold of him. I shouldn't just the other day he got a hold of him, so I got a number I can get a hold of him and even go out and see him. Yeah, <laughs> it's that have to do that for the practicum. Yeah, that's right. Mm. You're right. <coughs> <coughs> exactly right. Okay, because uh, I'll tell you what, there's lots of colleges around here. There's Quatlin Polytechnic University, there's Douglas College, there's, uh, uh, there's uh, Scott Shaw, Pro uh, there's a few others that have practicum kids that want to be social workers. Mm -hmm. Well, they have to do practicum hours in the community. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Go advocate for the guy that you're going to advocate for when you get a paycheck. Yeah, that's right. You know, and take on about, you know, I don't know, if they had, even if they had 10 cases. 10 cases times 10 students, in my books, is 100 people getting help. Mm -hmm. Right? If you only had 10 people, oh, well, we're getting them somewhere here. Hey, kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Ten kids from from college, yeah, right? Yeah. That have to do their practicum hours yeah, right. to graduate, I to become a social worker, to get paid to help you, can pretty well do it for free right now. Yeah, 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 they yeah. come and help you, Bill and Bill, yeah. and you take on ten people, ten cases, only ten. Yeah. You sign a release of information so they can, you know, fight for you with. Yeah. Welfare, BC yeah. housing, yeah. doctors, dentists, yeah. whatever. Uh, and uh, yeah. and then if you got yeah. 10 kids, 10 kids times 10 cases, that's 100 people getting some help. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? I, I, 
Yeah. You like that? Yeah. Like, I mean, you know, and, you know, um, the, the, like the hard part is, is when you send them off to get help and they go and get it and then turn around and come back and tell you. And you yeah, that's a bad thing. Yeah. So, 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 remember I said we all have to come to the table? Yeah, that's right. As yeah. best we can, <laughs> while they're work, if, they, if you sign on with them, right, so they're not wasting their time spinning their tires, that you, yeah, as best the promises you can make, is to say that I'll stay in X area while I'm, so you can find me by asking two or three people, like, you like to go to downtown. And then we're then what well, matters if someone's to help you. Yeah. Get your refrigerator before and go to Maine and Hastings because you wanted to and they go, hey, we don't we can't even get into Grace's apartment to deliver the fridge. Yeah. So you have to make it sort of we would have to make some kind of commitment that we would be available. Yeah. Like we don't have a phone, we don't have a home, so to find us is is difficult. So the information board, right, at the front room. Right? You know, uh, okay, that's how you get your mail, right? So it's a board, right? You put it a kind of note on it, put your name like that. Is that what happens? You're in the front room? Yeah. They have a, they've got a, a, a file folder type situation for anybody's mail. Like if you go up okay. down to B for bar there. And oh, okay. And then, okay. 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 So, but what about phone messages? That's how, that's messages, how they do the phone. Phone messages, they do count. <laughs> they count for the phone. But yeah. mail they keep so that the people don't rifle your mail, right? Yeah, that's right. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, good, good, good. So there's a, does the system work? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Is this a good deal? I don't usually check my, uh, somebody's been cleaning off the board quite frequently. Yeah. Uh, cleaning uh, off the message board. Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, all right. I wish okay, we got some, we got some things to work on. So maybe with that board, we got to check it every single day. But yeah, no. Yeah. And everybody is not going to stand in line to check your mail. And I never well, check, I never mail check for phone line. calls. Yeah, I never yeah. check my phone call messages, but I always somebody comes and tells me, hey, you got a message up in there. They don't know you, Bill. <laughs> what about you, Jeff? You're pretty quiet back there. What do you think about this? We have a meeting coming up uh, with Shane on Friday. We're going to talk about some stuff. Um, I'm going to try and get some more people involved, more groups involved with coming to the table, besides look out Fraser Health. And us get the uh, politicians, RCMP, City of Surrey bylaw, and the social planning department, right? Like, they're not planning this area to house a bunch of homeless people. No. This is all going to be whitewashed out of here. Mm -hmm. And what it's going to do is instead of having services to help people, they're just going to make little spot fires all over the place. They're going to little pockets yeah. of people that are going to go ramping up, like Newton is already ramping up, you know, and, and so on and so forth, right? So, anyways, I'm pretty much done talking. How about you guys? Anybody want to add anything? Talk about something? Okay, there it is. Okay, we're on. Now we're good. We're good. Right. So we Let's finish this up. <laughs> we need you to get over here and give up the... Yeah, there's a big lineup for the washers. Yes, please. Huh? How are you going to pop? I don't know. There's a plastic or something. Okay. No. Okay. okay. Well, make it quick. Because the meeting's almost over. This is what we do. Okay. Who's using the washroom? Okay. It's cold. Bill's in the washroom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can come back then. Yeah. Here, I got the key. Oh. One left it over there by now. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, Bill's uh, trying to get uh, Bill yeah. a bed. Oh, okay. Right now. Okay, okay. Right. all right. That's where he went to. Come on, Jeffrey. Let's end this meeting. Good, 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 good. Okay, a tradition it sounds to you that in the meeting we, uh, Remove our head here and uh, take a moment to remember the people that uh, paid the ultimate price. At this time, a moment of silence. Please let yourself to show to anybody that you feel that you want to at this time. All right. Come on. Bert. Brian.